From the complex process of analyzing seismic data to the everyday activity of measuring the flow rate of gas and oil passing through a metering station, computers are changing the way we do business. This is the first section of a two-section module on the principles of electronic flow measurement. In this section, we'll look at the fundamentals and advantages of electronic flow measurement. Before proceeding with this program, be sure you've completed the module's basic principles of pressure and temperature and orifice meter station fundamentals. And if you haven't completed these modules, please stop the tape now. For years, decades really, measuring the flow of gas and oil has been done using the system you see here. There are literally thousands of these orifice meter stations in use throughout the world today, many equipped with mechanical chart recorders. But there's something new on the horizon, and, as you might imagine, it involves computers. More and more, mechanical chart recorders are being replaced by flow measurement recording systems, which operate under electronic and computer control. Why? Well, for several reasons. The most important being that electronic flow measurement is much more accurate than mechanical chart recorders. These flow meters serve as the cash register and sales to our customers, so it's critical that they be accurate. Before we further discuss electronic flow measurement, let's review flow measurement in general. Fluid flowing through a pipe exerts a constant pressure called static pressure on the walls of the pipe. When a constriction like this orifice plate is placed in the pipe, the velocity of the fluid is increased. The higher velocity fluid on the downstream side of the orifice plate creates a static pressure lower than the static pressure exerted on the upstream side. The difference between the upstream and downstream static pressures is known as differential pressure. The flow rate of the fluid can be calculated using a formula that includes the values for differential pressure, the constriction of the orifice plate, and the temperature of the fluid. For more detailed information, the module entitled Orifice Meter Station Fundamentals contains a thorough explanation of how an orifice meter operates. Now let's examine and compare the components of electronic and mechanical flow systems. Both flow measurement systems have meter tubes with orifice plates. 